Today we're taking a look at the Laowa 14mm 0D lens for full frame mirrorless cameras. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and recently Laowa approached us and asked us if we'd review this new lens. This is the Laowa 14mm f4 c and D Dreamer. This is the L mount version but they have versions for other mirrorless full frame cameras as well. Let's unbox it and take a look. There we go. Great little compact lens. I like the build quality. Really smooth uh, focus and aperture adjustment. The aperture is clicked. Not great for video, but decent for photographers, you know, who want to be able to click back and forth. All right, let's mount it on our L-mount camera. Uh, we currently only have a Sigma FP in studio. This is more of a video L-mount camera than a photo L-mount camera. But here at Photo Deox, we love photography and filmmaking. So we'll show some photos and videos captured with this lens. So let's mount it on. Red dot with the red dot. And I'll say right now, this is a great lightweight lens. It doesn't add a lot of weight uh, to the camera. And it's really nice to have this manual focus, really smooth. There's even uh, a place right here to put your finger to adjust the focus. Now I've been told by Laowa that this lens has almost zero distortion. There's a little bit, but not much, which makes it ideal for architecture photography, but it's also just ideal for shooting you know, wide angle video. Distorted lenses can give your video a cool look, but generally when I'm shooting with a wide angle lens and video, I want zero distortion. I want it to be wide, but not distorted at the edges. And here are some of the videos and photos I shot with this lens. Uh, really, really nice. I love the look of it, really sharp. You can see there's not much distortion going on in the frame. And because this lens is so lightweight, it makes it really easy for run and gun photography and video. And because it's so wide, it's great for handheld video that looks fairly stable uh, because you know it's so wide, you're just not picking up as much handshake as you move the camera around and pan. And in terms of focus, uh, the lens focuses from infinity to 0.27 meters which is about 10 inches. So it's actually fairly good for focusing close up. Um, as you can see, yeah, doesn't focus that close up. But you get about 10 inches out. Nice. Let's see, uh, 10 inches, what is 10 inches? Not really sure, I think this is about 10 inches. It's a lot of my face, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, pull back. So it doesn't autofocus. So if you are gonna blog with it, you are gonna have to figure out exactly how uh, far to hold the camera, depending on what you're focused on. And I've been told this lens even has a filter thread. And sure enough, right in there, there is a filter thread. So you can actually screw in a filter, which is pretty amazing for a 14 millimeter lens. Okay, I looked in the manual. It's actually a 52 millimeter thread. So we're gonna use a Photo Deox 50 millimeter ND4. And it's a little tricky to thread. You kind of have to drop it in on top like this and then use the uh, gaps on this tulip hood to kind of slowly rotate it. And there we go, now we have a 52 millimeter filter on a 14 millimeter lens, which is pretty crazy. And here's some demo footage with the filter on the lens. You can see there's some vignetting in the corners. And on the right is footage without a filter on the lens. Still a little bit of vignetting, so I think just in general, this lens does have uh, slightly dark edges, but you will get a little bit more of a vignette with a filter attached but not unusable, the footage is still pretty nice. Now we're actually gonna compare this lens uh, to the Rokinon 14 millimeter. Uh, this is also a 14 millimeter lens. <laughs> As you can tell, it's much beefier, much heavier. And this lens does actually have a lot of distortion. So by comparing these lenses, you're gonna really see the zero D technology in the Laowa lens. Uh, and yeah, look, I mean, definitely way, way less distortion in the Laowa. Uh, a much more pleasing image to the Rokinon 14 millimeter. And you know, I love this little guy. I actually own this lens and I swear by it, I will continue to shoot with it. I don't mind the distortion, but hmm, I mean, this is really tempting now. Uh, you know, having a lighter lens that has less distortion, uh, definitely worth looking into, especially if you're looking at, you know, getting a lens for your uh, L mount camera, something small, compact, wide, easy to shoot video with. Now this Rokinon 14 millimeter is not an L mount lens, it's a Canon EF mount lens, but here at Photo Deox, we actually offer a lens adapter to adapt Canon EF lenses to L mount cameras. This is our Canon EF to L mount Fusion Auto Adapter. We're gonna mount the Rokinon 14 mil to the adapter, lock it into place, 
and then mount it on the camera. Now this Fusion adapter is an autofocus adapter, which means it allows your L mount camera to communicate with adapted Canon EF lenses. Unfortunately, this is a full cine lens. <laughs> So there's no actual electronic control, uh, focus and aperture completely manual. So this adapter is really not controlling the lens at all. It's just allowing us to use it on the Sigma FP. I like how compact this lens is. I like the almost zero distortion. Great for video and photography. I would definitely consider getting this lens. I think it's great value for the price and I would recommend it. Another Photo Deox product we're featuring in today's video is this wooden handle grip for the Sigma FP. It's really a very useful accessory for the Sigma FP because without it, it's just this brick that doesn't really have a grip. If you wanna learn more about this grip, click the link in the description below. Okay, we gotta send this lens back to Laowa, but if you'd like to learn more about our Canon EF to L mount fusion adapter, click the links in the description below. That's a little plug for our products. And also click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more review videos like this one, as well as videos that get deeper into our own product. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and thanks for watching.